Okay. Just testing everything out right now. Hopefully everyone can hear me. It's been a while since I did a live video, so I'm gonna explore again doing these live videos. And I'm gonna do a little editing real quick after this video is done. Cut out the extra stuff and everything. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's get started on this one. Okay, my name is Randy Miller, and this is RM Rats, and I'm gonna be showing you how I, uh, how we do the full service uh, display mini fridges wraps and everything. So when you place an order, actually you need to call us and make sure um, we can do this and everything. But uh, we've been doing a lot of different kind of mini fridges, and uh, this is what I'm gonna be showing you the steps that we so when you go to the rmraps.com website, go on the bottom of the website, it says pop uh, uh, displays, and, and you can see right there. And um, you can get more information about this, uh, the full service and everything. Uh, basically, we need to know what kind of unit you want. This is actually an IDW uh, 1.5 uh, display mini fridge wrap, mini fridge right here, and it has a glass door right here. So I'm just kind of showing you the process that we normally go through. So usually, I'm just gonna put this on right here. Kind of get you from the beginnings of the stages. So when, uh, when you place an order, we make a custom buy button on the website, on the armraft.com website. And then once you place the order, uh, the unit, it can be a mini fridge, refrigerator, uh, uh, any kind of units you're, you're thinking about, uh, uh, freezers and refrigerators and stuff like that. So. Um, we can place the order, and once we get the unit, um, we can actually start wrapping and everything. Uh, another thing we do is that we have a template on our website, our armraft.com website. If you go to the bottom right of the website, on the armraft.com website, go on the bottom, and it says free templates. You can download templates on this, whatever units you have. So what we do is we, anytime we get a new unit, we take the measurements, exact measurements of the sides, the fronts, the glass part of the door and everything. And then if you want to design something, you can design it to, uh, and send it to us. And then we can actually print the, the, the vinyl or the units and then ship it to you or give us, give you guys the full service. And then we can do everything on this right here and ship it to anywhere in the United States. Uh, they have multiple uh, addresses. You just send us the addresses and we'll ship it to you. The address is right here. So, and this is actually the fir uh, first live video in our, our new shop. So this is what you're seeing right here. I'm gonna start doing more and more videos. Um, we'll see if we do any more live videos of this right here. So uh, we, put, we put a lot of love and care into the, the designs and also, also the installing part. So when we receive it, we actually clean everything really good with the invisible glass cleaner in a lint-free rag, and we clean it real good. Remove all the stickers, there's stickers here, 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 and a little sticker down here, and we get as bare bones as possible. And then what we normally do, uh, we use a primer 94 and, and, and get around the edges right here on the body, but also under here, here, here. And this I'm gonna show you the processes that we go through when we do a full service. And so if, the reason why I want to show you this, if you just want it, the vinyl itself, you can buy the vinyl, wrap it yourself, and then I'm, I'll show you the customers this video. It's like, this is how to do it, and this is how we set it up. Okay, so we got all that taken care of. Uh, I masked a few parts here and there, not a lot of masking to do. So I just kind of remove the door. I like to do the body first. And everything is already pre-cut, pre-printed and everything. So I got everything all set up. Okay. On this one right here. So this is the body. We always print out on uh, uh, 3M Air Release Vinyl Matte Sheen products. Most of the matte sheen. We do some gloss every once in a while. But I say 90% not matte sheen and everything. So even though uh, we do the same thing, if we're installing it or if you guys are installing it, we put a little crease mark right here. We put a little, indicates a little dots right here. Also, on these ones, we pre-cut the backing for you, so it's easier for you guys to install. And again, this is a 3M Airlease Final Machine. And so, when you lay it down, let's see if I can do this right here. If you lay it down on the vinyl, the vinyl on the unit, and there's little markers right here, 
in the cane corners of the doors. So I'm matching up the markers and it's completely straight, straight up and down. And I know exactly where it's gonna be. It's a time saver for us, but also a time saver for you. And it makes it easier for you guys to install the wraps on your units. And uh, I just try to make it easy as possible for you guys and us to install. Okay, these little two guys that are in the corners, so I can kind of feel where the corners are at. So I kind of pull the backing off of the little, what we call packing on strips. And then I just tack it on. Okay. Oh, note, we, uh, if you order just the vinyl itself, let me get these little guys right here. Uh, we always, and almost every order we do, is uh, we give you a free squeeze, free knives. Um, and this is the squeegee saw. Same thing, you can kind of follow the arrows when you, uh, the reason why you design these squeegees is because uh, we're trying to have the uh, people that are not used to vinyls kind of follow the, the instructions how to install it and everything. Okay. <clears throat> so once it's tacked on, I like to double check everything and making sure it loops all the way around. And get it all on there. Perfect. So what I like to do is I like to get the top ones done first. And again, if you mess up on this air release vinyl, you can pop it up and put it right back down. But I'm just showing you how easy this is. And so if you just want to save a little more money uh, just for us to print it out and ship it out to you guys, you guys can install it. That's the reason why I'm showing these videos. Or if you want the full service, yay, that's great for us because uh, it's a little more profitability for doing us a full service. But um, if you uh, want to contact us, it's 208 5, uh, sorry, 208 uh, 696 Sorry, it's hard to focus when I'm <laughs> doing this. And info at rmwraps.com. We are based in Meridian, Idaho. So we are a US based business. So right now I'm just getting the sides or the bottom cut off. I'm getting right up to the edge. There you go. And on this back side, actually, I'm, let me finish this installing job. I'm trying to get the, the video part of it. Let me see, make sure you're still in the video side. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. There we go. And yes, I make it look easy, but it it is easy to install this kind of vinyl on the subjects. And uh, we do a lot of uh, internet cells, uh, just DIY projects for average people installing stuff. Okay, right now I'm finding the screws on the top of it. I'm cutting them out so when the screw when you put the screws in, it's easier to, to do it. Okay. Same thing on the bottom. I'm just cutting the edges off. And so if you want to order just one unit, uh, the full service, you can. Again, we need to know what kind of uh, mini fridges or refrigerators or units you want wrapped. And then we can kind of adjust the cost if there's like several wraps. And then we can adjust the cost. Um, of that but basically we're just kind of here for you guys we'll give you what you want okay next I'm just using my thumb to get all the way in and then I'm going to cut the bottom part of this right here but I'm, again I'm just kind of showing you how we do these full service units and how much love we put into this, or I guess detail too. And then I'm going to, after this, I'm going to show you how we do the door. Also, there's lots of different options you can choose from. You can just do the body, as I'm doing right now. The door frame, or um, if it's a glass door, you can do a cutout vinyl uh, logo, name, or whatever you want. Or if you want a colorful 
uh, print uh, logo, we could do that too. But the majority of what we do is we do a white vinyl cut out for the door and the window. And now I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here's a little details stuff I'm talking about. So this grill right here is uh, screwed on, or I want to get behind the screws. And I can easily just wrap right up to it, but you never know if this is in a window or on someone's desk uh, at the office. And I say that the back is just as important as the front. And that's where you put a lot of love into it. Okay, now I just put the screws back on. Again, everywhere is a little different. So you just kind of let us know. On the website, it'll tell you what we're looking for or what you, what you want. Again, prices vary between how high the unit is, the material it takes, and how long it takes us to wrap. Some projects are pretty uh, intensive detail stuff, so it takes a little, little longer to wrap. Some are pretty quick. We on this one, these are pretty quick because, well, it's not because it's how small it is, but it's just how simple it is. The quickest part, uh, if you want to narrow it down, is uh, just wrapping the body. And we've done several of those. They just want to wrap the body. We basically take the door off, wrap it, and then put it back on. It's, again, very quick. Uh, what I'm doing right now, it's for the little mini fridges, it's probably the longest part because I got to remove the door. I'm going to wrap the door frame in uh, a matte white. And this is going to be, that's what I'm going to show you next after this. Okay. Screws in there. Now with the door frame, we gotta have a little heat to it, and I'll show you why. Okay. This little guy is done and over. And uh, every once in a while, uh, I, I, for a loud, we could put like our arm wrap stickers usually on the inside of this unit. So let's go over here real quick. Let me just change the light up a little bit and move this guy down. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, there you go. Hopefully it doesn't move on me. Okay, again, uh, what I did is I, I, primer, I cleaned it real good. Even the glass, is, sometimes the glass has like an oil base or, or just dirty. And so I, I clean it again with the invisible glass cleaner, lint free rag. I use the primer 94 around the edges, on these edges right here, right here, and then right here. Um, let's make it uh, make it stick a little better. We're after we wrap this, we're gonna add. And you can't really see it. We're gonna add this guy right there, and go from there. So, okay. Again, what we did is we pre-cut the backing for you. It's called packing on strips. You can see right here. That's right there. This one, uh, we usually add markers to indicate the, the corners of the doors, but this one, uh, we didn't do that. Okay. It's just a white piece of sheet. Okay, like that. Wrapped around, wrapped around. 
Afternoon. Okay. So right now, I just kind of tack it on right in the middle. And then I just kind of go this way. This one's a little more challenging. I don't recommend average uh, people doing this. Installer can, can definitely do this. The reason why is because this little guy right there, okay. Okay, what I have, I don't know if you can see this right now, it's lifted up with those little guys right there. It does help out, so it doesn't stick on the, on the table. Let me get my squeegee and the heat gun. Okay, so this guy right here, let me, uh, I'm gonna work on this. Let me see if I can move the camera a little bit better for you guys can see it. There you go. Hey, AJ. Okay, there. Hopefully you can see this. Actually, let me get a better lighting over here. I'm always learning. <laughs> trying to fine tune the business, trying to make it look a little better. There you go. And when the time comes, I'm going to actually start getting uh, a couple cameras going at once so I'm not moving all the way around. Now, right here, this is, a, this is where the tricky part comes in. And I know they have uh, um, tools that you can pre-cut the, the vinyl right where it needs to be. But what I'm going to do on this one right here, I'm just going to get as close as I can. I do have a sharp knife. Usually when I do jobs like this or when I'm installing the vinyls anywhere, I change the blade quite often. It just, if you have a sharp, nice blade, you're not fighting it. Come on. Try to get the vinyl. Okay, so it has like a little circle right there. I, I just cut out. Same thing right here. Um, the less... I say the less heat you put on, the better. I'm gonna take my squeegee, and the squeegee's uh, thick enough, so it's raised up a little bit. I'm barely putting any pressure on this, so I'm not trying to cut the, the handle too. There we go. So it's just nice and relaxed. I'm gonna cut the corners now. So I'm going to release the vinyl pressure so it just kind of floats on the side. So let me. Come on. There we go. And that's the reason why I put the blue tape on there so it kind of releases a little bit, a little bit better. Okay. So it's kind of released now and I can kind of pull it down and just use my thumb. Again, this is where kind of more of the professional P, uh, installers, they can do this. Uh, you can try with the uh, with an average person. Uh, we, we get some good results every once in a while. It surprises me <laughs> when people install, install the vinyl on their subject and they say, wow, you did actually a good job for someone who hasn't done this before. Uh, that's the beauty of the RM Wraps uh, business is because we like to get people involved with their wraps or their little projects and be proud of, yes, I, I wrap this myself. That's one of the reasons why I like doing these videos because I, I get, every once in a while I get phone calls or emails and say, hey, Randy, you did great. And I'm, I'm so excited to doing this little project. I guess it gives us a little self-esteem boost when people do it themselves. Okay. And I take pride in, in what I do too. I really enjoy this, uh, the business, as you can tell. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the sides 
evenly with the edges right here. And right there. And there's like a little lip right there on this one. There's a little lip. Usually I go, I go uh, underneath the, the seal, but this one doesn't really has a lip and has a seal and it just doesn't, doesn't look good when it's all wrapped up like that. Okay. Let me get the other side. I kind of like waiting for that at the very end. <laughs> Even as a wrapper, I, I don't like going, uh, I don't like uh, this little area right there. It's challenging every once in a while. Most of the time I hit, you know, I nail it, but sometimes, no one's perfect. Sometimes uh, I gotta do a restart. Okay, luckily there's no handles on this side. Hopefully you guys see everything. I need to double check everything. Okay, there you go, so, yeah. Okay. And you know what I forgot to do is take that little guy off. It does not want to come off. Okay. Here, let me get this guy out of the way. I use like a lot of times I use my fingernail to get it really close. Take your time. Hopefully I'm the shot still. Let's uh Let's see if I can zoom in on this guy right here. I wonder if I can do that on this. Oh, yeah. I just want to show you. There we go. So again, the less you heat, the better it is. And then at the very end, again, I. I make it look easy too. So, um, yeah, this one I nailed. When I say nail it, I mean uh, there. There's. I'm not. I didn't cut all the way. Uh, you can't see the silver around that guy right there. And every once in a while, I, I have like a little little gap on this side or that or whatever. I, again, it's more of a personal thing. It's uh, more of a trying to improve myself the, to be a better. Installer. Also, I just take I take pride in what, I, what I do. So this is the bottom, and make sure you always take that off. I had one customer, or one time I did one job or handful of jobs, and I totally forgot about uh, doing the lock thing. Luckily, the customer says, "Oh, I can, do it, or I can, I can fix it for you." Ooh, got a little screws going up right here. Oops, let's zoom out and get some more. Uh, thanks for hanging in. I know it's sometimes painful watching these live videos. Boy, that's not going to move. Now, cut around it. And again, this is on the bottom. No one's ever going to see this. It's more of a personal thing that make it look, do the best to. To do. There we go.
Okay. Almost done with the door. Actually, almost done with the, the installing job. There's that little guy that I was trying to get off. It's, it's glued on. So I'm just going to take a little heat and kind of work around it. Okay. Now we're going to do the inside of the door and then put the decal on the inside glass door. And again, this is a matte white to, and also the sticker that the name of the sticker is, or the logo, if you want to call it, is a matte white. So everything matches, little detail stuff like that makes it work. Now this is where uh, I want to wrap, you're going to have a little extra vinyl and what I can do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to wrap this side here and here and then I'm going to have like a little sliver of gray right here um, if it's not too deep. So I'm getting the top, bottom, I'm cutting it from left to right. Now I got the blue tape right there because I don't want to scratch anything. So I'm barely pushing any, pushing the blade down. Try not to, I'm just trying to score just the vinyl. There we go. And I'm, I'm not, I'm doing it on the blue tape. Okay. There's that guy. I'm going to save this little guy. There's always things you can save. Okay. Gonna break the tip a little bit. Barely pushing. Any... There we go. I'm going to save that just in case we need anything else. And use my fingernail, get as close as possible, use the squeegee, get that as close as possible. Now, there we go. Going to save that little booger too. Now, this is actually a straight, straight edge. Uh, when I cut right here, it's a straight, straight edge. So what I can do with the leftovers, throw away. And again, it's like more detail stuff. There we go. Get as close as possible. And of course I ran out of blades. On this one right here, I want to make sure the blade is fairly new. I got a lot of knives around here. Okay. So 
sorry about that. I wasn't expecting to get lose the blade. Okay, so on this one right here, start in the middle and cutting the sides. There you go. That's a perfect cut. Move that little guy. And what we do for any kind of jobs, we take videos, but also take pictures, the before and afters. And then we can uh, show the customer when it gets done. Hey, it's all done. This is it. Uh, we use a Bonjour app. And it's a personal email, a personal, yeah, email video. There we go. Uh, showing, hey, it's all done. That's what you think, and then if you like it, uh, we'll box it up and send it your way. And we we'll usually when you ship it, uh, if it's a one unit, not on a uh, pallet, if it's just a one unit, we box it up, or we use uh, what we call uh, foam board, uh, insulation foam board. And it's pretty thick. It's usually uh, one inch thick, and it more or less almost bulletproof. <laughs> I don't want to say bulletproof because there's, there's been a few times that even with the uh, the unit. Okay, so now on this one, you can kind of see. Oh, there you are. Uh, there's little markers right here, so we can kind of line this up right here and here. And so it's lined up perfectly, and we're not guessing anything. That's another thing. Another thing we do is make sure everything is nice and perfect on that. Okay, let me, I'll be right back. I forgot to see uh, if, I just want to double check something. What I'm doing is I'm checking uh, past pictures and making sure the logo is on the left side facing a dip, uh, it's facing uh, some, let's see. Usually I check my phone, but I can't use my phone because it is on it. Okay, I think I found it. And of course I can't find it. <laughs> We have everything on a server. Uh, every job we do, we, we put it in, the, in a folder and just to make sure we keep, oh, there it is right there, found it, okay. Left side, K down, okay, got it. Left side, K down. Okay. 
All right. That goes on that. That goes right there. Again, this is a the same vinyl as this right here, so it's the detail stuff that counts. Okay, let's go pop over there, then we are almost done. Well, thank you for sticking around as long as you can. I know live videos are kind of painful. But again, I just want to show you what is possible. Okay. Put that on there. Oops, you know what? So if you want something like this, full service or just the wraps, you can just go to the armwraps.com website and there should be a form to fill out. Uh, you can go probably to contact us or just give us a call, 208-696-1180. Email us at info at rmwraps.com. Devin or Randy will help you with that. Any comments, questions, or concerns? Okay. Okay, so I make sure everything's lined up right here. That's it. another detail stuff. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight, not too tight. Put the top on. Uh, clean the glass if there's any uh, fingerprints or units on there. We just don't want to get a phone call and say, "Hey, this is, this is all dirty or the quality's not that good." And that is. That is that. Looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the heat gun now. I'm gonna sink in these little guys right here uh, and just get the get it buttoned up. So that's it. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoy everything. Uh, I'm gonna get some more live videos going. I see if there's any traction uh, getting uh, more of the live videos or just regular videos. But uh, I got. One more unit to do, and then another door wraps, and so it's a good Friday. <laughs> right. Stay tuned. We've got more project surprise coming your way. If there's anything else you need, let us know. We're here for you guys. Okay. See you around. <laughs>